Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another What I Eat In A Day video. Thank you so much for taking the time to log on and join me today. I know how busy December is and I really appreciate you guys continuing to tune in and watch my videos. So thank you so, so much. So today is going to be another fantastic day of food. So it's a really great one for you guys to watch because this morning was a bit of a slow start. Um, it was a Sunday morning. It's, it still is Sunday. I don't know why I'm talking in past tense. It's Sunday today. Um, and I had just had some of those wheat tea um, cereals that I've been really enjoying recently. They're actually called blueberry wheat. So yeah, I had it with a coffee. Nothing too exciting. I just had my regular coffee. But what I did do was I added some festive fruits to the top and it just made it that little bit more festive. So there's cranberries in there, sultana, just a lot of dried fruit and nuts that are very, very festive. Um, and that just made it a little bit more exciting. So I really enjoyed that. I'll insert that now. a spinach omelette with cheese just because I have some spinach I need to use up and I quite fancy eggs so I might have that with some lovely tiger tail bread that I have left over from yesterday I also did a vlog yesterday and baked a lemon drizzle which I'm having a feeling I'll be having some of that this afternoon I'm very excited about it I cannot wait to get this open today and have it with a brew so I'll probably be having some of that and then later it gets even more exciting because I bought a really lovely joint of beef that I'm going to be slow roasting we're gonna have it with veg uh, mash this is gonna be a really lovely seasonal dish perfect for the family perfect for entertaining or perfect even doing just for yourself and then having many many meals with the leftovers like curries um, stir fries, salads, you can literally do so so much with beef, um, pasta dishes, so yeah it should be a great one for you guys to get involved with, so I hope you all enjoy it, um, and I'll link anything that I'm wearing in the description box down below, this cardigan is quite old now, I think I got it at the beginning of the year, uh, but I'll try and link it, if not I'll link something similar, I have my regular new look jeans on, these are in the size 10 though, so they're quite big, but I wear them around the house because we've been doing some renovations today, painting all that kind of thing so these are kind of my comfy clothes and I have this band t-shirt on that I've had forever in a day I've had this so many years guys and I just I love it and again it's just so so comfy I think I got it from H&M I'll try and link it down below but that is everything on the clothing front hair and makeup is very very minimal but yeah so let's get on to the day and enjoy It's a spinach and cheese omelette. I used the Cathedral City Mature Cheddar. I actually used full fat today um, just because I wanted to. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have that, but feel free to use the lighter version and to point it. And I have two points with the bread. So that is four points for this omelette. And yeah, it looks delicious. I cannot wait. It's now time to begin the prep for dinner. And this is gonna begin way in advance to us actually eating this because we have this like, rather large joint here of beef. Um, I'm going to roast this for a couple of hours on a low heat. Um, but the first thing I need to do is to let it rest outside of the packaging in the tray. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm literally going to unpackage it, pop it into the tray, um, and let it rest for about half an hour or so. And then I'm going to pop it in the oven once I've seasoned it with salt and pepper and a bit of olive oil. Normally, you would see me use a combination of these kind of spices on the actual joint, but... I find that the best marinade you can do for beef is just purely olive oil and salt and pepper because it tends to take care of itself as opposed to chicken or lamb where you would put rosemary and thyme and lemon and garlic. I am going to be putting these in and amongst the tray to roast as accompaniments and to enhance the joint from the underneath but when it comes to the top of it and actually marinating the joint itself I'm literally just going to be using salt and pepper. So that is my preference. Feel free to make a rub or something like that, but honestly, salt and pepper, a good quality olive oil, and that will take care of itself. 
in the tree, as I just mentioned, I'm going to be having some lemon here. I'm going to zest this, squeeze it, and put the carcass straight into the tray, along with these two onions. I have a brown and a red, and I'm going to leave the skin on those as well, along with the garlic. Again, I'm not going to peel them. I'm going to scatter them about, leave the skin on, pop them in the tray. I have salt and pepper here. I have rock salt and coarse pepper. And to go alongside, I'm going to be making some kind of mashed potato, and I have a nice big rustic carrot here as well that I'm going to chop up and roast and add into the tray also. So, so this is literally all going in the tray and I'm going to serve it with mash. <laughs> Seems super simple guys but honestly that combination alone is enough to give this meat a lot of flavour. Again, beef really does take care of itself. It's different to a lamb or a chicken where you need to invest a lot of flavour in it. This will sit and along with the fat, it will all crisp up and it will, again, it will take care of itself. So alongside this, I'm now going to be popping in my vegetables. So as I said, I'm gonna pop some garlic straight in with the skin still on. And that's the same with the onion. Feel free to peel them if you should want to. I think there's something quite charming and I love the colour as well that this gives to the joint. So I've literally just rustically chopped all of the veg, um, the carrots have been chopped as well, again not peeled, and this is just going to sit for about 40 minutes just in the tray as it is, and then I'll pop it into the oven and slow cook it for a couple of hours, but even already it just looks incredible. I mean what a centrepiece if you're cooking for friends or a family dinner or on Christmas day, you're not quite a big fan of turkey, something like this is a real showstopper, and yeah I'm really happy with it can if you want to a brown this off first but I'm not going to bother doing that but if you did want to create a bit more of a caramel you could totally have just browned this off and then popped it in the oven. I'm going to pop on some foil over the top um, as it's roasting and then I will take it off in the last 40 minutes or so and let it develop a nice golden and crispy skin but honestly guys I cannot wait. Right, so it's been about an hour since I last checked in with you. The beef is smelling incredible, all the flavours and everything are really coming together. I've just had a little bit of a check on it and it's doing really well. And now it's time for my afternoon coffee um, and to have some lemon drizzle. So, as I mentioned um, before, I made a lemon drizzle cake yesterday, which I have done on the WW app and I pointed it all with the quantities and everything like that. So I will put that in the description box down below along with the rest but honestly guys, this lemon drizzle is the most incredible cake recipe I've ever made. It's one of my favourite cakes to eat, if not my favourite. And I have it in my beautiful Emma Bridgewater tin that I love equally as much because it just looks great. So yeah, I'm going to have a slice of that. Um, I will check on the app in a moment what that equates to because off memory I can't remember and I don't have it very often. But again, I'll put the information of how you can bake this and the vlog where I made it in the description box. You can go check it out and see how I made it and everything like that. But yeah, I'm going to have it with a, a cup of tea actually. I think I'm going to have a tea because I like lemon drizzle and tea. I think coffee can take away from it a little bit. So I'm going to have a brew and yeah, very, very excited. A perfect Sunday afternoon treat. Alright, so I'm just going to check the meat and give it a little bit of a baste um, and then in about half an hour's time I'm going to let it cook with no more tin foil. but as you can see all of the veg is starting to soften which is exactly what we want so I'm just going to get some of this juice, I'm going to tip the tray slightly and pour it on the joint so it doesn't dry out and again this is going to invest a lot of flavour into the meat. You don't have to do this but I like to. I think. Everyone wants a nice succulent slice of beef. There's nothing worse than dry beef. So do baste it if you can. Um, it doesn't take too long and it really does, again, invest a lot of flavour. <laughs> had 
it's time. So my plan is to get it out of the oven now and let it sit and rest on the wood top with some foil for about half an hour actually. And I think that that's again, it's gonna make everything that much more succulent. If you can leave your meat to rest, it always does help. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at this little beauty and see what we're dealing with. Honestly guys, the smell of this kitchen, I wish you guys could smell it because it is incredible and this looks so delicious. Oh my goodness, let's turn you around. Isn't she an absolute beauty? And look at the colours of those veg. I mean, everything looks so succulent, so tender. It's just going to be absolutely divine on a bed of mash with some gravy. Oh, I can't wait. got some mashed potatoes on the go so this is basically just potato with salt and pepper and boiling water so the mash is ready um, Andrew's just mashed that all up for me salt and pepper a bit of butter Bob's your uncle this is all of the veg that's going to be going on the plates um, with the skin that's been taken off. Honestly, it, I could eat that alone with parmesan on top and I'd be very, very happy. I've made a gravy from the stock, which I absolutely prefer than having bisto gravy. I do like bisto gravy, but I think when you can use the actual meat stock, it's just so much more flavourful. Um, and then here, of course, is the joint itself, which I'm just about to start carving. It's been resting for about 45 minutes and... These bits on the top in particular are so delicious. So yeah, let's play it up. the end of another what I eat video the only thing I'm gonna be having tonight is my nightly orange along with water and I'm pretty much done but thank you so much for watching the beef dinner was honestly so so good it was tender it was flavorful and I have about three quarters of that joint left and we're gonna be doing a curry with it tomorrow which is really exciting in fact I might record that as well just to give you guys some inspo of what you can do with your off cuts and everything like that for anyone who is wondering I used a total of 31 points today which is three over my dailies which is absolutely fine uh, considering I had a nice big piece of lemon drizzle as well which I used as 12 points I've counted it for the full amount so yeah I end it here but I hope you've all enjoyed it don't forget to check out the description box for recipes and links and everything that I'm wearing and all that kind of thing and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye